welcome back to the channel my fish and i aka my fish -ne. get back sit back relax and get comfortable today's species profile is about the fahaka puffer aka the nile puffer aka my puffer is called bobby all right let me tell you the backstory about how i received bobby and bobby was trouble was problems you have to do a lot of research before you start keeping these fish i had a buddy his mom got sick so he had to go back home so he couldn't keep <coughs> bobby anymore which he had bobby into a tank with lots of african cichlids so one of my other buddy he took the african cichlids and i said you know what i'll take one of the puffer fish and i'll put it in because you know what he used to african cichlids so it shouldn't be a problem he had three puffer fish in his little 90 gallons so i said you know what i'll put take one my other buddy he took the rest of the fish so i chose bobby to take care of just in case my buddy returns and I was just housing him end up being keeping him so I didn't know much about Bobby at that time and I put him in my 100 gallon African cyclic tank long behold he tried to murder my fish the two fish that got the most damage was one the two yellow lab I call one Corey and one Joey. Yeah, so man, they, he, beat, he beat them up, he beat them up, he bite them up bad. So I had to try to save them because where I'm from, we don't really, Canada don't have no meds. Ban all meds, only teach you all they can find to treat fish. So I try to make up some contraptions and save those two fish. You can see that in the, one of my playlists. All right, back to the Fahaka Puffer. In the wild, the temperature is usually 24 plus. The inhabitant is thick, planted, and they feed on various things like other fish, shellfish, and I try to replicate the same thing. So. Because it didn't work, I had to put Bobby into a tank by himself. And when I started doing research, everything said, he has to be alone, he has to be alone. But I was like, my buddy had him with a whole bunch of other fish. I had no problems. So I said, I decided, no, I'm a person. I can't just keep one fish in a tank. I'm just thinking it'll boring. Even though these puffer fish are highly intelligent, I just, eh, I'll get bored of them if I just put one fish in a tank. So I did some research and... I realize for the tank mates, you can have fish that's fast. You can actually house them with other pit, um, puffer fish if it's big enough. Because I see some YouTube videos, other folks doing that as well. As long as they have each have their own territory. So I got into it, got Bobby some tiger barbs, and they've been working well for several months now. He hasn't killed any yet. I had two glowfish in there, he murdered one, but. It is what it is. One still remains. He's schooling with the tiger barbs like he's a tiger bar to keep safe. And I have a pleco in there that Bobby tried to mess around with, but he just slap him with his tail. He doesn't really do anything else. So I feed Bobby a whole variety of food from pellets, carnivore pellets, shrimps, blood worms. I think in the background you see he was eating some blood worms and ram horn snail he loved those you have to give him snails to munch on to kind of help shave down his teeth else he'll grow too big and you'd have to take him out and clip those bad boys off yourself so i ain't trying to do that i actually farm snails so i have plenty of sense snails to feed him when the puffers the fahaka puffers they grow up to like 18 inches so and live over 10 years so it's a long-term commitment right now i have him in a 75 gallon tank but he's still probably like only six inches and he grow they grow up to 18 inches so i have 
and lots of other tanks larger tanks that I can move them in so the ideal size tank you should have him in is like a 110 but he's not big enough for me to either put him in one or maybe my boy is gonna come back and he can get back his fish and start back his fish keeping journey at least I kept him well fat and fed and safe they're omnivores, so they eat anything they're greedy they eat blue I feed Bobby blueberry eats it I feel Bobby carrots he eat it I feed him green peas he eats it I, f I mix up his diet I usually feed when they're juvenile you can feed them every day but I I typically feed Bobby like four days a week every other day that's what I try to feed uh, most of my fish as you can see with plants you can have a planted substrate in the tank some people say don't do it because you'll dig up the substrate this is actually a dirty tank with gravel and the ideal substrate um, is sand but the gravel they say can get stuck in if you try to eat it it might get stuck in his throat or whatever but if he's crushing up snails like that man I don't think nothing to worry about they're smart they're very intelligent fish so if he was dumb enough to eat a rock Bobby did it again you, you, I would be very disappointed in Bobby because they can recognize their owner swim all around the tank and he chase around the tiger barbs even though they're too fast for him and he have he, sw he swims a whole section of the aquarium so that's something you got to keep in mind that's why you need a large tank to keep these fish oh one more thing you have to know do not touch these fish with your hands they're poisonous you should always avoid touching them especially when they puff up because if that get on your hand or you ingest it it could really damage your hands and it also could kill you and unfortunately there's no anti-poison for his toxin that he's gonna release in you so try to avoid it don't touch the fish with your hand man respect the fish they like hard water anyway between 10 to 15 dh soft water you'll run into a lot of health issues as i research my water is hard i even have crushed corals even clams that i feed them is still in there so i have no problem with hard water coming out my city water is pretty hard but the most important thing is don't touch them in their hands or don't you don't want that stuff in you man because you'll shut down the human nervous system within minutes you'll be feeling dizzy tingling your lips and tongue swelling like you feel like it's like a paralyzed debt you just can't move anything but you know everything that's going on and as i said no antivenom so that's very important please don't touch the fish but tank mates i see other people like when i was watching youtube i see other people have tank mates like school and tetra silver dollars rose line barb denison barb tiger barbs plecos so as long as they're fast enough for not bobby to catch <coughs> they'll be fine like subscribe hopefully you enjoy this species profile thank you for the support greatly appreciated